Every year, millions of people are diagnosed with bronchitis after reporting the cough. In fact, in the 2024 study done in the United Kingdom, an incidence of 54 out of 1,000 cases of cough was reported. But here is the catch. Not every cough is bronchitis and not all bronchitis are the same. Some cases clear up in just a few weeks while other linger and may point to chronic lung disease. So how would you tell the difference? In this video, I'll be breaking down the types of bronchitis, the key signs and symptoms and what you really need to know all under six minutes. And by the end, you'll have a full picture of what we're talking about. By definition, bronchitis is the inflammation of the bronchi, the large airways in your lung. When the bronchi is irritated, this triggers an immune response which causes the bronchi to swell. And with the swelling, there is a production of an extra mucus which eventually reduces the lumen of the bronchi and it makes it difficult for hair to move in and out of the lungs. There are two main types. The first one, which is called the acute bronchitis, is a short term usually caused by viral infection, often after a cold or flu. While the second type, called the chronic bronchitis, is a long term part of a COPD. The hallmark symptoms persistent cough. Patient may also have thick or discolored sputum, wheezing and shortness of breath, chest discomfort, and sometimes low-grade fever and fatigue. Most acute cases are viral, but with the chronic cases, they are usually linked to smoking, hair pollution, or occupational exposures. It's also been found that a weakened immunity or existing lung diseases also increases the risk. How do we diagnose bronchitis? Firstly, bronchitis is largely a clinical diagnosis. In the acute cases, it is based solely on the symptoms and examination, with a chest x-ray only if pneumonia needs to be ruled out. But for the chronic bronchitis, the diagnosis is more specific. Firstly, there needs to be a persistent productive cough for at least three months in a year for two consecutive years. Typically, in the presence of a risk factor such as smoking. The key steps include a thorough clinical assessment, excluding other causes like tuberculosis of irreversible airflow obstruction on the spirometry. Now let's talk about its management. Treatment of bronchitis depends on the type of bronchitis. For acute bronchitis, this is usually self-limiting. Rest, fluids and symptomatic relief will do just fine. Antibiotics rarely helps since most cases of the acute bronchitis are viral. For chronic bronchitis, smoke cessation is very, very important. Then, consideration of bronchodilators, inhaled steroids, and pulmonary rehabilitation, which forms the backbone of the care. For preventative measures, vaccinations against flu and pneumonia are also vital. Bronchitis may start as a little tickle in your chest, but left unchecked, it can turn into that one friend who overstays their welcome. If your cough keeps hanging around, don't just stock up on the cough drops. Your lungs might actually be asking for a real help. That's all for today on bronchitis. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.